This video is brought to you by fishhuntshoot.com. For more and bigger trout, go to fishhuntshoot.com. Just like that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, there we go. Oh, that's a lot of fun on that spinning rod. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh, loving it. Ooh, that, ooh, that's a big fit. Oh boy. That's a nice fish. He's pulling me all around this buoy here. Oh, that's a nice big fish. Power bait, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a big rainbow right there. Hooks, hooks, hooks. Um, obviously, hooks are a critical part of, of fishing success. Last week, I did a video kind of outlining the types of hooks I like to use for trout fishing. And in that video, I promised to do a video talking about premium quality hooks and medium quality hooks and stuff like that. And this is that video. Now, when we think about premium quality hooks, the owners, the gamagatsus, the trocar hooks, the question you know, always arises, are they worth the extra money? And you know, the answer to that question is unequivocally yes. Um, the premium quality hooks, they use better, more sophisticated material, more research and development goes into them. The manufacturing process is more intense and more time consuming. And uh, so absolutely, they, they justify a higher price point. The second question is, is does the, the application you're using the hooks for call for a premium quality hook? Things like, you know, fish and live bait for yellowfin tuna. Absolutely, you need a higher quality hook. If you're throwing, you know, frogs for black bass and you're using 80 pound test braid like Ish Monroe and you're setting the hook really hard, yes, you, you need a premium quality hook or you're gonna snap that hook. Likewise, if you're striper fishing, if you're trolling for stripers with a Yozuri, you should upgrade those hooks because I've had the, you know, the standard out of the box hooks on a Yozuri straighten out on a striper strike when trolling with a 65 pound braided line. So in certain applications, you absolutely want to spend the extra money for the premium hooks. So what, what is it that makes a premium hook? And I'm talking performance and here, here are my thoughts. One, a premium hook like an owner or a gamagatsu or those trocars, they're sharper. They also have superior alloys, you know, superior metals, and they have a superior tempering process, which means they can, they'll, they're typically thinner hooks, which means they hook deeper, and if you hook deeper, your, your hook's gonna hold better, but they're also stronger and more resilient. Therefore, you can have a thin hook that's not gonna snap, that's not gonna bend out. And therein lies the real advantage of your premium hooks, your owners and stuff like that. If you're out tuna fishing, we're using live sardines, let's say, you want the lightest possible hook so that sardine can swim freely. We're gonna do minimal damage to the sardine when we hook him through the lips, but we need a hook that's gonna hold an 80, 100, 120, 200 pound tuna when one comes and inhales that sardine. And since we're using a circle hook, it's probably going to be hooked right in the outside part of the mouth. So in, in that circumstance, that, that premium quality hook is critical and it's money well spent. Focusing on trout fishing, 99% of the time, we don't need to use those premium quality hooks. We don't need the owners, the gamagatsus. I do 95% of my trout fishing with either medium quality mustad red hooks or your Eagle Claw 
laser sharps. They are totally adequate because we're not working at the upper end of that, you know, strength and power dynamic. We're fishing for trout. Even an eight or 10 or 12 pound trout doesn't put up the kind of brutal fight that a yellowfin tuna or a big striped bass puts up. They can run, they can head shake, they can do all those things, but typically we're using tackle that's very forgiving when we're trout fishing. And my perspective is save the money you were gonna spend on those premium hooks, invest in medium quality hooks, get more hooks and have some money left over for other things because those medium quality hooks are absolutely positively going to get the job done 99% of the time. What you want to stay away from, you know, no matter what you're fishing for, are those bargain basement hooks that you've never heard of the brand. Um, typically those hooks don't have very good tempering and you're, you're going to get hooks that snap and you're going to get hooks that bend out even on small fish. So got a yellow jacket here. So that's my perspective in a nutshell. If you're out for trout, landlock kings, kokanee, stuff like that, you know, you, you don't need to get those super premium owner hooks, those super premium gamagatsus. Go for those medium quality hooks, medium price hooks. You're gonna save about a third to maybe 40% in terms of price. I'm still chasing that yellow jacket. And uh, you're gonna be able to invest that money in other areas of the, you know, the fishing dynamic. Things like gas, a better sonar unit over time, whatever that is. So if you're a trout guy, if you're a lake guy, you're fishing for, you know, lake bound salmon or trout, or you're fishing for river trout, go for those medium quality hooks. Go for the Eagle Claw laser shark, uh, sharps. Um, the mustads, they're going to serve you well, you're going to catch plenty of fish, and you're going to save money doing it. That's my take on premium hooks. I'll catch you next time right here on YouTube. I see that yellow jacket. He's coming back for another pass at me, guys. If you're looking for trout gear and more, get on over to fishhuntshoot.com. I'm going to put this camera away and run away from this yellow jacket. I swear, they are one of the most aggressive life forms you are likely to come across out in the woods. They're more aggressive than a bear or a cougar or probably even a tiger, although we don't see many tigers here on the Forest Hill Divide. Anyway, I'm Kel Kellogg. I'll catch you later, guys. Have a wonderful day.